Hey again everyone, Tim here, timscomputerfix.net once again. I am doing another gaming build here. And this one is going to be an AMD build. And I'm going to start off by kind of showing you this motherboard. Uh, it's been around a little while. This is the Gigabyte X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming. It supports all second generation Ryzen processors. Got this motherboard here on sale and I think it's a really good deal. So we're just going to take a look and, and take it out of the box here really quick and just to look, take a look at a couple of the features on this motherboard. Fairly heavy board here, good quality. As you can see it comes with some protective film there to kind of Protect it from getting scratched during shipping. We'll go ahead and just remove that. And I guess I guess this is the standard that just about all motherboard manufacturers are going with, at least for gaming motherboards, is the built-in shield that goes around your I.O. Uh, ports. However, we still are going to require an I.O. shield for this, unlike the, the ASUS branded computers. I think they have a patent on that. But there's your uh, AM4 socket here. This motherboard, of course, supports uh, four DDR4 DIMMs here, uh, up to 3400 megahertz. Of course, it supports your Crossfire and SLI configurations here with the two PCI Express slots. So this board also supports dual M.2 NVMe PCI Express and one of those has a thermal guard so underneath here is where your NVMe will go. One of them M.2's and then over here is another spot for another M.2. So dual M.2's there, NVMe compatible, that's nice. So here you have your Type-C connector along with, this is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C and Type-A. Very nice there. Here's your Gigabit LAN ports. So with this Gigabit LAN, it features what's called CFOS speed. It's a network traffic management application which helps to improve network latency and maintain low ping times to deliver better responsiveness in crowded LAN environments. In the industry leading LAN static electricity and surge protection, motherboards use ICs with up to three times the ESD resistance levels compared to additional ICs. This helps to better protect the motherboard and its components against potential damage caused by static electricity. A couple of USB 2.0s here, couple of USB 3.0s. Here's HDMI out if your processor supports uh, integrated graphics. And you have another set of USB 2s here on the end. These USB yellow ports here is something that Gigabyte has implemented. And basically it's a DAC up port. DAC stands for Digital Audio Converter. So if you have a microphone of any sort Ports are supposed to be especially clean and free of noise and interference. So the accessories that would benefit from these USB dock up twos would be your VR headsets, mice, keyboards, game pads, external hard drives and SSDs, and audio. So on this particular version of motherboard, there's a couple of more different versions of this same motherboard. But with this version, the, uh, this does have LEDs and it gets lit up around this emblem here. This emblem here lights up. And also where the audio light bar is that separates your audio, right there. Speaking of audio, the audio provides ALC 1220-VB for immersive gaming. There's a smart headphone amp preventing issues such as low volume and distortion. So there is a smart headphone amp right here. These are, these are WIMA audio capacitors. Also down here you have a couple of um, RGB Fusion 2.0, which is what Gigabyte, um, that's their version of their RGB 
solution and uh, they're addressable RAD headers. On these MOSFETs up here, uh, they have a lower RDS, meaning that it's optimized gate charge to minimize switching losses, lower temperature, smaller size, better thermal characteristics. Very nice there. This motherboard also has USB Type-C front panel connector if your case has that option. Very nice. So on these Aorus motherboards regarding the RGBs, you can use uh, external digital LED strips where each LED is digitally addressable. Users can experience you know, even more pattern styles and illuminations with the Aorus RGB Fusion 2.0. If RGB is your thing, this sucker can support up to 300 LED lights. Nine new patterns in various speed settings with more to come, according to Gigabyte. Digital LEDs are available only on selected motherboards. External LED strips, digital LED strips are not included with this motherboard, so you have to purchase those separately. So smart fan users will love the fact that there are five more hybrid fan headers that support both PWM and voltage mode fans. They've been introduced to make the motherboard more liquid cooling friendly. There are indeed a total of eight fan or water pump connectors, eight temperature sensors, an external temperature sensor, all fan pin headers upgraded to hybrid fan headers. It supports high current fans up to 24 watts with overcurrent protection, intuitive UI for fan control. So Gigabyte is included on this board, an exclusive one piece uh, stainless shield for your PCI Express slots. It also has extra anchor points underneath these PCI Express slots for more durability. It, reinf it reinforces the PCI Express connector to provide the extra strength required to support heavy graphics cards, of course. So that's just a quick overview and a quick look at this um, X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming motherboard. So that's going to be uh, fun to to uh, to build here. But let's take a look now at what exactly we're going to be, what processor we're going to be using on this. So here's what we're going to be using on this build. This is the Ryzen 7200X. This is a 8-core, 16-thread processor, 4.3 gigahertz max boost, 3.7 base clock. Been around for a little while, but bang for buck is definitely what you get from Ryzen, especially this 2700X, and it comes with the RGB Wraith cooler. I'll open this up. It's a known fact that these uh, Wraith coolers for this processor is vastly improved over the stock coolers that come with previous processors, either be AMD or Intel for that matter. But here's our Wraith cooler. Fresh out the package, it's got its own thermal compound on the bottom, which we will go ahead and use. And it also comes, of course, with a couple of um, connectors there for the RGB. Yes, this does have its own RGB lights built in. Kind of strange where they got that package, so we'll set that aside. And uh, of course we have our processor itself. Quite a heavy little processor there. And there we go, the Ryzen 2700X. We'll be going ahead and installing that in our motherboard and getting this build going. For our RAM, For our memory, I'm going with the G-Skill Ripjaw series. This is 3200 MHz DDR4, 32 gigs, two 16 gig sticks, 3200 MHz. Uh, this board does support up to 3400 MHz, but the more mega, the more, the higher speed RAM that you have, the better the processor, the AMD processors like it. So that's going to be our RAM for this build. And I'm putting everything in an Intu Pro M case, which I will showcase here 
later on in this video. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.